Today, my friends Doug and Heather with the USDR introduced me to two veterans displaced by the storm. Joseph rode out the storm, then lived inside his destroyed mobile home without power until just recently when he was offered a safe place to stay. The other veteran, Joe, is now forced to live apart from his wife of 48 years because there was only room for one of them at a friend's home. Joe slept in his car in the Walmart parking lot for three days before coming across the generous couple who owns the El Rancho Motel in Fort Myers, where they're now staying. This couple took both of these veterans in and provided them with a place to stay free of charge. Joseph, where are you from? Connecticut. Connecticut. I've been out of here 28 years now. So you're a Navy veteran? Yeah. I was just sitting there and then it started to get real windy. Mm -hmm. Then the rains came. Then the water started to rise up. I had a, my deck is 12 by 24 with a, with a top on it, all the you know, top. That just flew off like it was nothing. Mm -hmm. It grabbed even the poles that were, that were holding it up. It just tore it. There was aluminum flying all over the place, next thing I know. Joe, where are you from? Okay. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. And yeah. how, how long have you been in Florida? Two years. Oh, wow. I just got settled up there. Uh, October 3rd was two years we were in the place, my wife and I. Did you guys ride out the storm? No, we went to a friend's house over in La Belle. Thank goodness. And when we got back, the place was gone. Wow. Is your wife here with you too? No, she's over in La Belle, at a friend's house. We there was three of us staying over there, but the apartment was so small, we only had said three people can't stay there. Oh wow. So I slept in the car for three days at Walmart parking lot. into the area and we look for the people that fall through the cracks. So we drove past and we saw this trailer park that looked like it was in bad shape. It looked like it uh, was bad being shape. neglected and we kind of drove through, seeing it was almost all abandoned, uh, seeing if there was anybody left there. And we came upon Joseph, this one trailer. It had no electricity, it no had no water. lights. No, no we water. Had no water, no, no power since the yeah. storm. And Still we, don't have any. So we checked to see if anyone was alive, to see if there's any bodies in there, and Joseph was in there, uh, and we just sitting in his chair. So we checked if he was okay. We did a basic wellness check with yeah. him. Joseph had an amazing attitude. Joseph was super positive, sitting in the middle of this half-destroyed, <laughs> mold-infested, contaminated trailer, and yep. just wearing a pair of shorts and a shirt. Let me tell you something. I thought I was lucky. I had a roof over my head. I put a board this wide between on the rafters to get to my bed. <laughs> I had a bed to sleep in and I had a roof over my head. We were renting a trailer up at Sun Coast and we lost everything that was inside the trailer, took the roof right off it and collapsed the walls. Oh my goodness, so it was hard to even get your things out? Yeah, it took us five days just to get in there to get, uh, the only thing we saved was the bed. Wow. And we took our clothes with us when we went over before the storm. Do you have family back up north? I got my sister, my brother-in-law, my daughter. I got nine kids up there. Oh wow. It's tough, but Marine, you keep on going. You know, they don't stop. <laughs> Improvise, adapt, and overcome. That's it. <laughs> We're waiting on Demon now to come through for us. They said if we could find a lot to put a trailer on, they'd give us a trailer for 18 months. 
and at the end of 18 months would have the option of buying it. Did you guys like being here in Florida? Oh, I loved it. We Up in Suncoast, our driveway was a quarter mile long. Our nearest neighbor was a half a mile away. It was right out in the woods, had all the animals. We were feeding like seven stray cats. It, it was great. And it wasn't covered in snow in the winter? No. <laughs> but I'm beginning to wonder if it's worth shoveling snow than what I went through down here. Yeah. So you had to sleep in your car for three days? Yes. How old are you, Joe? Seventy. How does that feel, sleeping in your car for three days when you're seventy? I slept in the jungles in Vietnam. That was luxury compared to that. How long would you have stayed there if they didn't make you weak? I'd probably still be there. Where, where, where are you going to go? At least, like I say, I had a roof and I had a you know, bed to sleep in. I sat like 12 hours a day in that recliner sometimes, just looking out the window. I know, every time we came to see you, you were in the recliner. I spent 12 <laughs> hours a day in that recliner. I had the door open, the door was open. First thing I did in the morning when I got up was open the door. The windows were all open. And why didn't you tell them what you told me? You were mad because you had no TV. I was mad because I had no TV. So I got TV. You can watch a game tonight? You better believe it. What is it that you don't have living here that would your wife better? My wife. Yeah. Can I you don't... have your wife here? My wife's in LaBelle. But does she need to get here? Is that what it is? No, no, no. It's better there. There's just not enough room. Right. I'll leave you my phone number in case that falls through because I'm, I live in Cape Coral over here. Oh, okay. And then what we're going to do right now is we're going to go shopping. So uh, what we need from each of you is a list of what you need. Uh, what kind of little comforts. We have some stuff for you. We have personal hygiene kits. We've got some batteries. We have baby wipes. Well, I think there's no better um, treasure that we have in this country than our military veterans, especially you guys that have had a lot of life experience. So I like to stop back in from time to time and check on y'all and document your story if that's okay. Sure. Hopefully you guys will be in a better place soon, but if I catch you here again, I'll see maybe maybe your FEMA approval comes through. And if I find any information on an open lot, I'll let you know about that. Oh, that would be great. For the trailer deal. Because we've been everywhere around here. There's no open lots at all. How long was it before somebody came by to check on you? I think the next day, yeah. Because people, people were coming in like these guys came in a couple times and... We sent you know, people. <laughs> huh? We sent people to come and check yep, on you. Yep, you sent people and it, people started coming around. I mean, the help is unbelievable. I mean, they were, they were right there. Like these guys and stuff, they were right there. What do you need? Anything you need. You went out and got me tobacco. What do we think about being able to get uh, Joe, sit back over there to get some of his stuff. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm going to say if we can keep it to like a 10 minute time limit inside the place because the place is a death trap. Yeah, can deep. you think of what you can get in in there and get oh, yeah. in 10 minutes and get out? Oh, yeah. Because look, you're in a safe place now, Joe. Yeah. We don't want you going back There's to that place. There that used to be in the bathroom, but I threw all, all my stuff in there. You know, that I need from the bathroom. Yeah, we you can know, help you too. Right, it's all that. It's, it's all, everything, but toilet paper, well, they give us story. But everything is in that cabinet that I need. I guess we'll survive, because the government said now the ages expectancies now are 76 for men, 79 for women. So I only got two and a half months and I'll make, I'll make the deadline. <laughs> I'll make 76, so I shouldn't be here any longer than that, you know? But I got so, I got so many vitamin things over there, I'll be, I'll be here forever. <laughs>